You're listening to The Hit List with me, Numi, and I'm joined by Megan Trainer. Hello. Hi, everyone. Hello. How are you doing? I'm so good. How are you? I'm good, thank you. I'm so excited to talk to you. It's been about a month now since your fourth album, Taking It Back, came out. How does it feel having it out in the world? It feels really good. This is the best it's ever felt, I think, since the first album, at least, um, because I got so much TikTok love and my single made you look is number one for the third week like i'm thriving i'm shining everything's just wonderful like i really feel super loved right now yeah obviously made you look is like it's just everywhere i was on tiktok last night and i think it was honestly every other video like it's just all over my few page how does it feel having that kind of reaction to your song it's every day is like my birthday party and everyone shows up, you know? Yeah. Like everyone showed up. I used to say it's like my funeral and everyone's showing up and I can see who like really <laughs> showed up. But now I'm switching that narrative to say it's like my birthday party and everyone's showing up. And everyone's um, dancing. <laughs> everyone's dancing and not crying. Um, yeah. And every day, like my mom and my team, my mom is like, there's a million creates on TikTok with your song. Like it's everyone's so proud because it's a real team effort. And so we're all celebrating. Well, um, I'm really curious, like, is it all over your TikTok as well? Like, are you getting to the point now where you're like, oh, there's another one with well, my no, song honestly, on it? I don't actually like no, but when it does, like when we're all scrolling casually, like I'll hear my husband and I'll hear pop, 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 pop. And I go, for reals? Is that it? And they're like, yeah, it's, a, it's another one. Like, it's it's still a pinch me moment. Just like when we hear my songs on the radio or when we hear my songs in a a shopping store, you know, we're we're still freak out and we're like, they're playing me. And you you still get that feeling after all this time. Oh my God. My knees go weak. I filmed the speakers and I got, (laughs) and I sent it to my mom. Like I'm in target today. Oh, that's amazing. I literally, it's like all over my view page. I was, because I only found out when I came in that I was chatting to you today. Um, so it's really yeah. weird coincidence because I was singing it whilst filling up the dishwasher. Like, And that's when you know it's a good song when it's just like thank automatically, you. it's your dishwasher song. <laughs> yes, thank you. That's what I want. I want it to haunt people. <laughs> but like in a really good way. Because I think, I literally, I was thinking about this when I was singing it. It's so satisfying to sing, kind of like that do wop like the swinging sound to it what made you want to return back to that do wop sound honestly title um title blew up on tiktok um my my song from seven years ago that's very do oppy and it was supposed to be a single and never got to be and we had a music video and everything and when it blew up it went crazy viral and i was like it's just starting the writing process of this album and i was like okay i'm listening and then another <laughs> co-writer came in and she said you know, artists have been coming in saying, I want to do Megan Trainer sound. And I was like, are they talking about the doo-wop or like the pop me too era? And there, she was like the doo-wop. And I was like, well, I could do that in my sleep. And I wrote these songs really fast and effortless and it was fun. And a lot of it was at my house and it was just easy. Yeah. It's such a good, like feel good sound as well, which I think kind of everyone yeah. wants. It right makes now. a lot of people happy and there's not a lot of people doing it. So I have like my own little space, you know? Yeah. You can tell like it's a Megan Trainer song. Like it's got your stamp on it. And that's my dreams. Because like as a songwriter, I want to write for everyone. But as an artist, I want you to be like, is that Megan Trainer on the radio? You know? Yeah. Yeah. You want to have that identifiable selling point um you wrote this song as like a a self-love anthem after having your baby um how has motherhood been for you so good yeah good um it's i have no patience and that's what he's teaching me but like recently he's like older or just over a year and a half and just recently he was always saying dada never saying mama and so a mom guilt like ate me alive Cause I was like, it's cause I work too much. He doesn't see me. He doesn't know who I am. But just recently, um, he's been looking at me going, mama. And, I'm like, and it makes me immediately go, I need seven children. You know, like, yeah. like I need more of this. Cause it's the best feeling in the entire world. My sister had a baby in August, so I'm a first time on and I went to visit her for the first time because they don't live in the UK in October. And like, I haven't spent that much time around babies, but I've I've spent time around babies. But when you're like biologically related to one, it is crazy. Like I was like, I was like, I get it. I get it now. (laughs) 
right? It's like an extra special love. And you can watch them for, they're so fascinating. Oh yeah. They're like a whole TV show. We used to just sit and watch them as a baby and be like, wow, did you see he moved? You know, (laughs) (laughs) he pulled a face. He's not pulled that face before. (laughs) Or like you hear them make a noise and you're like, oh my God, that's what their voice is going to sound like when they grow up. I can hear it. He just started talking and he only talks in a really high pitched noise. And it's so cute. He's like, open, ah. And I'm like, what is this high pitched voice you have? What cartoon character have I birthed here? Literally. (laughs) Where's your voice going, dog? So your album, Taking It Back, we talked a little bit about the writing process. You said it it was quite easy. Did they just kind of like flow out of you? Nothing's easy, but yeah, (laughs) these songs I, I would write, I would do homework so that every session we'd have something to work off of. So I wrote the chorus to every song before and my co-writers were coming in and I would sit at the piano and audition it for them. I'd be like, what do you guys think about this? I'm so shy. Here I go. And I would <laughs> sing it for them. Um, and luckily every day they loved the ideas. Um, and I wanted to make them all different and, uh, um, I wanted to, to have the throwback sound. So we studied like what happened in the fifties and like, we saw Papa loves a mambo. And I was like, well, mama want a mambo, you know, like I'm exhausted. I want to go dance. Um, so stuff like that. It was great. And it was all at home. So we could have the baby come down and visit. We'd have baby breaks. Oh, that's drink. amazing. I them, I'd be like, you can come here at 10 a.m., but I will be done at 6 p.m. And I'm doing bath time and bedtime with the boy. So wrap it up. You yeah, know? I think that's really good. Do you think this is kind of like a thing that's come out of the past couple of years? You felt like you've obviously having a, a baby as well and wanting to bring that into your schedule. But do you feel like being able to record now at home is something that's much more feasible and you have kind oh, of yeah. more control and flexibility? Oh my God. A hundred percent. Yeah. I, a lot of people are like, Oh, I just can't have my studio be in my house. I need to separate work from home. And I'm like, I want it downstairs, baby. I don't want to get in the car and go to drive to work. No, no. I never want to leave my house. Um, and what's nice is all the producers I've been working with are like parents of young children. So I look at them and I go, go home to your kids, you know? And they're like, thanks, man. Nobody lets us do this. I'm like, yeah, dude, it's fine. Go home to your kids. The mu- musical per- parent club. I like it. <laughs> Literally, we're all like, all right, let's go home for dinner. And they're like, this is great. <laughs> um, what's your favorite song on the album? Oh, it changes all the time. Today, I'll call it Superwoman. Okay. Um, because it's like a very, I'm very proud of that songwriting. I did it with Dan Wilson, who did Adele's um, Never Mind, I'll Find Someone Like You. Amazing. So I walked in, I was like, are you my ballad boy? He's like, I'm a big guy. <laughs> Um, and we wanted to write a song that's like, everyone was just complimenting me. Like you're a mom, you love yourself, you do it all. And I was like, Whoa, I, if that's what I'm giving off, that's like something I'm working on every day. I feel like I'm super woman, like crushing, but I had a bad day and it was raining all day and I was flying in the rain and I didn't get the criminal and I failed, you know? And so I wanted to write super woman having a bad day. Yeah. Um, a song I was, I was talking about how hard it is to be like a working mama. Yeah. And I think also like, you know, so much you, you, you show all the good stuff online and everything. So a lot of the time people, that's how the people just perceive you. Yeah. And they're like, oh, that's she's like that song. all the time. That was the second song I wrote for the album. Don't I make it look easy where it's like, I'm going to post only the smiling pics, baby. And I have a filter on and like, you'll never see me cry. Like not, this ain't it, you know, this ain't the real, but TikTok is my real life. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. But I really love your TikTok because you kind of, you've got that mix of obviously sharing your music, but then it's real slice of life. And obviously yeah, people... Right. Have, I love your laps. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and um, people going crazy because I didn't know about this until recently that you're married to a spy kid. Like obviously that popped off on the internet recently. Yeah, I married the spy kid and I use him for my TikToks because the kids love it. And you he's can- a star. And his like spy kid... Uh, moment like was my all about that bass like I was like oh am I gonna be the all about that bass chick forever like that's my thing and he was like at one point it's like he's like am I just spy kids forever and I was like no you're spy kids forever and like well recently it turned around for him in his brain of like oh that's like where I came from like that's my everything and that's I'm a legend. I was like, you're a legend, baby, you know? Yeah, exactly. So, and now he's also Megan Trainor's husband. 
<laughs> we went to we went to Harry Styles the other day, and it was Marina. And when we walked in, the entire crowd turned around and was screaming for us. We were with Chris Olsen, and it was Banana Land. It was so bizarre. We were laughing like, "What's happening?" But then the crowd started chanting. Um, spy kids, spy kids, and I was like, "Baby, it's you!" <laughs> oh, like, that's amazing. How how was Harry Styles? Because I'm going in the UK in June next year, and I'm very excited. This is the best show there ever was and ever will be. <laughs> that's all. And- I, I never sat down once. I lost five pounds of sweat because I was. <laughs> Yeah, that's not ever. Yeah, I feel like my TikTok at the moment is made you look TikToks and then people sharing clips from Love on Tour yeah. and that's it. I have a lot. <laughs> hey, also, if you're all listening to this and you're going to go to the London shows or the UK shows, don't throw things at him. Stop doing that. Someone threw an M&M at his eye last night and it makes me <laughs> angry. Yeah, because he's been getting a lot. He, he got a chicken nugget in New York. Dude, what is that? Nobody does that. Don't do that. If yeah. you're listening in your mind, don't throw things. For me, at least for me, don't do it. Keep the M&Ms in the... In, eat them. Eat them. <laughs> yeah. Throw them at him. Um, speaking of touring, though, are you going to tour the album? I don't know. I'm trying to honestly get knocked up. Okay. Like I'm, trying, I'm trying to have four babies and I'm trying for number two all the time, you know? So it might not like, work. I don't know. I just like, I feel like I'm not as strong as Cardi B. Like Cardi B can do SNL, a whole tour, nine months pregnant. Like she's a legend icon. I'm very weak when I'm pregnant. Like I want to stay down, you know? So I don't, I don't know, but I would love to do like a weekend tour thing or something because I do miss performing and I, I miss my fans and I miss seeing them. But it's like a tough life out there. You notice how a lot of people are like bailing on their tour. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's really interesting. It is so hard. Yeah, and you do not want to do that. You don't want to do anything well, while you're pregnant. I, just, I think I have PTSD <laughs> too. I like fear because the only tours I've survived, I had to get a vocal surgery after each one. So I'm like, how? I gotta learn how to lip sync or something. Like I gotta figure out how to not sing every single night all the time because my vocal cords clearly can't handle it. Yeah. So I, I don't know. I have to like learn how to do this sport all over again. Yeah, and it is. I think people take it for granted, like how much pressure you put on your voice, and like it is. It's almost like a muscle. It's like if you asked an athlete oh, yeah. to perform at their peak. And it's like when you're on tour, you can't talk like for the rest of the day. So you get very lonely and you get in your head and then you're like, now I'm on for one hour. Hi. You know, it's it's, it's, so a vicious, like, fun. it's like people are asking me, like, it's basically like, do you want to like do a really intense sport for a couple months? And I'm like, oh, <laughs> maybe <laughs> not. Yeah, maybe, but. I don't know. <laughs> I've just noticed the time because I've just had such a lovely time talking to you. I just like completely, okay. like about halfway through, I was like, I'm going to keep checking. And then we just had a blast. So I'm going to, I'm going to wrap up now. Um, it's been so, <laughs> it's so it's awesome. So good you. It's been so lovely to talk to you. I just got, it was just like, just chatting away. Forgot where we were. <laughs> Best mates now. Best mates now. It was so lovely to talk to you. You're Have best. a great yeah. rest of your day. And um, yeah, happy, happy mumhood. Hope, hope you get happy pregnant mumhood. soon. <laughs> I'll let you know when I pee on that stick. Thank you so much. <laughs>